This video is for those that may not see with enough clarity the warnings put forth the last few decades about how the Pope in Rome will use the powers that be to force people to do as he commands, even if the people he controls know his commands are based on unscientific as well as unbiblical lies. Students of prophecy have declared all along that the talk of a new world order that started, by the way, with Roman Catholic Emperor Adolf Hitler and is now on every politician's lips since the Vatican met with the leaders of all the nations as well as all the CEOs the world over a few years ago. It has also been proven many times over that the invention of the United Nations, which we know is the harbinger of a one world government like the United Religions Initiative became the One World Church, all of this was prophesied and fulfilled via the political movements of the popes of Rome since 1929 forward when the pope's long prophesied mortal wound was beginning to heal. And so, as we have been saying for many years now, the pope will have to invent a global crisis to move everyone into his camp so as to make enforcing the mark of the beast worldwide that much easier for him to do. Well, as expected, the proven bad science of global warming is an exact fulfillment of that prophecy. And so those nations, as well as all the individuals in those nations that refuse to embrace the fake crisis of global warming, the Pope will most assuredly use his United Nations military force to demand that they do as he commands. For Christian prophecy is that accurate, and it will be fulfilled to the letter. With that all being said, notice this. United Nations might use military to enforce climate agenda. And the article says this. In an interview with ABC News in Australia, Professor Weaver cautions that what he sees as climate inaction might draw the United Nations into considering other means to ensure its goals are met, even if that leads to global armed conflict. The United Nations Security Council could, in principle, tomorrow, decide that climate change is a threat to international peace and security. Classifying climate change as a security issue could leave the door open to more extreme policy responses. That's what happens when something becomes a security issue. It gets the urgency, the intensity, the priority, which is helpful sometimes, but it also lets the dark forces loose in the sense that it can justify problematic means. This urgency, he says, could lead to more abrupt and essentially undemocratic action at an international level. If there was something that was decided internationally by some more centralized procedure and every country was told, this is your emission target, it's not negotiable, we can actually take military measures if you don't fulfill it, then you would basically have to get that down the throat of your population, whether they like it or not. And so, I have to ask those that may question the Bible, if Christian prophecy is bogus, as so many claim it to be, why are they doing exactly as the Christian Bible said they would do? Thank you for watching. God bless.